Jive Hive Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, we did do our 500 subscriber video. Thanks everybody for that. Really appreciate it. One other thing I do appreciate it. If you guys saw, I did get a Tone of Ram. Andy Wood from Unity Motorsports has been a wealth of knowledge, kind of steering me right in the right direction with that. Speaking of wealth of knowledge, Kyle and I are gonna take something we've done a lot in the past, and we're gonna clean this GTO. Um, we're racing Pole Barn, his car is holy. It's exact opposite of us. But if we're gonna go fast, we also wanna look good doing it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start cleaning this car up tonight, get it buffed, cleaned out. But the first step that we're gonna do, we already did it. The other day when we cleaned the garage, we went ahead and washed this thing down, it was filthy. Got all the crap off of it. So the first step we're gonna do is, I'll let Kyle explain. All right, we're gonna start with some clay and some quick detailer, do some clay barring. And I believe the next step, we're thinking of doing some uh, orbital buffing. Is that? Yep. Yeah. Kind of like a, kind of like a, like a, compound. a, like a compound. Okay. First one's kind of a, a medium cut, okay. you know, get the, any swirls out. And then we're going to go through and really polish it up. So not only is this thing extremely fast, it's going to be extremely good looking. You kind of have to have both combos unless you're pole barn. His car is very unique. But if you're driving a GTO, which was the 1968 Motor Trend Car of the Year, you really want to look good do, doing it especially if you want to impress all those young ladies. We don't have to worry about that because we already have that in our lives. But you know what? If you're going to race and you're going to be driving this car, you got to look good doing it. It's time to get to work. Here we go. <laughs> First step is done. What we ended up doing was we clay barred it. Um, that kind of takes out all the fine contaminants, especially if you're going to buff this. It really takes everything out. Uh, so the next step we're going to do with this is we're going to do a light compound, try to get the swirls and some fine scratches out before we really polish this up. But we do have a couple guests with us tonight. We have Todd Z. He brought his Z28 back. There's going to be a video coming up soon on that on doing an exhaust and new leaf springs. And Eddie the Expert is here. He has got some new wheels and some new grippers for his badass 1972 Chevelle. So he's going to put those on there tonight. So we'll check up on him here in a little bit. He's running some Kragers on here right now. But he is going with an absolute old school look that is gorgeous. So Eddie's going to get to work. We're going to get to work on the GTO. And we will do an update here as soon as we can. See you in a few. Eddie the Expert, he's got new wheels on this ride. He had the Krager SS's with 255, 60, 15's on the back, and now he's got the classic black steels with the poverty caps, nice chrome polished up with 295, 50, 15's. It's got a real mean stance, it is super wide. It absolutely changed the whole look of this car. Absolutely love it. Eddie, great choice. You're gonna see a lot more on this right here. So stay tuned, just wanted to show you what we got going on on that. It's a badass ride.
right, so here's where we go. You saw Eddie applying that first coat with a buffer. So basically we're just using a random orbital polisher. It's Bauer, actually works pretty well, variable speed. Um, we're using for the first cut, it is actually right here. It is a Meguiar's Mirror Glaze Medium Cut Cleaner. We're using a yellow pad. It's not very aggressive, but it does take out like the fine swirls. So what we do is we're gonna go over this once with this fine cut cleaner made by Meguiar's. Pretty good product, been doing this a long time. There's a lot of them out there. This is just the preference that we decided to go with. So our next step after we get this done, we're gonna go with a white pad and we will use the actual fine cut cleaner. That's gonna really get all the fine details out. Polish it up and then we'll go from there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get to work, get cleaning, polishing, all that. Stay tuned, here we go. Okay, I'm doing a quick update. So we've been polishing on this car with like a real fine swirl remover. Um, I did part of the trunk lid. What I want to show you, so we, we cut it twice with kind of a medium grit compound um, just to get a lot of the stuff out of it after we clay barred it. But as you can see, this paint is really, really coming out good. Hopefully it'll focus. But the part that I didn't see, you can see it right through there. You see the difference? So one side's really shiny and the other side's still dull. So what that is doing is, is this more fine of a polish, the finer pad is really getting in there and smoothing everything out and taking out more imperfections. Um, this paint job is probably over 20 years old, but I mean, it is actually in really good shape as you can see. Um, so we're gonna continue just cleaning on this and once we're done, we'll provide another update. All right, well, we're done. 
So kind of the first stage was on Sunday, Kyle washed the car off, let it sit and dry. We came in, dusted it off. We went through, clay barred it, and then we took a medium kind of foam pad with like a medium cut cleaner, did that twice, went over it with a polisher. Some areas we had to go over it twice. Mm -hmm. You know, it is an older paint job. Got all that done. Kyle got all the trim put on, cleaned up the chrome on it, tires and all that. And then we went over it with, it's, it's like a ceramic quick wax. It's, it's really jelly. It smells really good. It's made by Meguiar's. And what that's doing is just basically sealing this up, let water beat off of it. Um, really don't plan on driving this thing in the rain per se. Um, but just in case Kyle's, you know, caught out in the rain, you know, it just beads off. It happens. It happens. So I'm going to let Kyle talk real quick. And we're going to end this by going around and we're going to show you how shiny this thing is. Yes, it is. This is as good as this car is probably ever going to look with this paint. 20-ish uh, year old, over 20 years old. I would say in the neighborhood of 25 years old. Uh, so this is as good as it's going to look without getting a... Uh, a paint job or maybe doing some kind of wet sanding, which uh, I think I think it's good enough. So I don't want to get into that type of uh, a job for this. So it looks good enough. It looks great. I'm really happy with the results. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh, starting to work on Larry T-Bird too. So uh, let's do that walk around. We're going to do that walk around real quick. Like it, it's like a mirror like finish through here so that hard work does really pay off yes we've had some time in this tonight um, it's pretty late but you know what look how shiny this is it's gonna look nice going out for a cruise it's gonna look nice when Kyle's out doing burnouts taunting people all that fun stuff when the summer comes so once again late nights hard work elbow grease does pay off she looks good. She's fast. Kyle, what is she ready for? Some wheels and tires? I think wheels and tires next. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, yep, then we'll be able to go back in and set our uh, pinion angle, and we'll be in good shape. Awesome. Well, with that, she's pretty. Catch you guys tomorrow. See ya.